Hello friends, welcome to another amazing video of WordPress from beginner to advanced course. In this video, we are going to reiterate on what we did so far for the first five videos. So, so far, as you guess, this is a seed video of the WordPress course. Here we are going to take a principally a main template, a free template for C, and we are going to do a lot of image we are going to do some cons some custom menu uh, text editor we are going to modify one of those page of that free template for now we don't yet have a particular template in mind so as the video shall go on one of those free templates shall be chosen so this is a video this video is going to last for maximum 30 minutes to one hour so stay firm, understand well, take a paper, jot it, because by so doing, we are going to master WordPress, both of us. So what I want to, so before we go on, I want to present myself. I'm named Ronald, I'm a software engineer student. I'm here to help you guys. Okay, let's get started. In the fifth video, we went on the introduction of one important concept. Uh, what I'm saying concept is uh, hosting medium. We spoke about how we should host our website online like how we should host our website online like before you build or as a developer you need to understand that it is always advisable to build a website online if possible why because your employee or somebody can employ you and the person is not in your geographical location but the person because he have paid you or because you are working in his project for him to be sure that you are working he will need to see what you are saying he need to see what you have done so far for him not just to say that now i'm wasting money the reason why it's advisable if the guy or if the employee uh, requests for him to see to host your website on an online that is online because we are beginners we are we have been using free pro host i don't know if pro free host okay pro free host actually we have been using this so we spoke about that this is an it is a hosting medium that us developers beginners actually uh, we are using it to host website for life i see so here you can host uh, i think it is maximum of three websites three websites that you can host and you can host it uh, for life actually but like why am i saying three because normally you cannot have more than three three free website actually so if if you are a beginner so if it is not for uh, if it if you're not doing that for if it's not a company that you're doing like it's just a small project that you're doing normally you cannot have more than three normally you cannot have more than three account actually so that is it so if you have now create website like i have what you will simply do is simply delete select uh one of those website because you cannot delete one of those website links so you are simply going to delete one of the content attached to the links like we are going to do it now like this is what i'm saying we have three website we have often zero this is the link let us see how it look like let me just copy if i paste it here i press enter i think i've not installed something here Congratulations, it is now active. Okay, uh, it's active. I seen so there I've not installed something there. If I copy this, for example, I paste. In the previous video, I've shown you guys how to install. I've shown you guys how to install uh, a website in a web link or in a domain link. So if you don't know how to install that, go and see the previous video. But don't worry, still in this video, we are going still to cover it. I seen. Okay. What is why is the connection that really slow like this? Do you understand? Me stop and then me reload. Okay. This is the second website here the image is not there might be because uh, the, the internet connection was not that good i don't know image 
image are simply not there okay so and so on so the third website is like you say so uh what are we going to do we are going to take let's say i'm taking this website of one of one live blog i say i press manage i want to delete the content of this website like there's a content here, i want to delete it having pressed that i've pressed manage i guess let me reduce the intensity okay I will, I will simply close this terminal because it's not linked to this course actually uh, like because we are not using it actually uh, then the, then this interface is open you press send anyway okay guys so uh, this website like this website that i have seen the content of it is is found on the online file manager i simply press online file manager having pressed online file manager i delete the content i press one of you guys i think i don't know the person name like it was asking me uh Ronald, please how how they doing to delete uh, the content of an attached uh, website link to a domain like i explained to the guy but it was not still understanding so here it is so when you are in the online file manager you delete the soft calculus you simply press delete you press delete this delete this uh, HD doc like it come here again you delete this press delete you delete you press last login you delete delete uh, the p key you delete the p key delete because at first normally uh, it it is it have not been chosen you leave the c panel and you delete all the content of htdoc so you delete it we have covered it when we were still building our website project in the local house htdoc was present like us at that time we were using linux operating system it is cool we are still using i'm still using linux operating system because i don't know your operating system I meant to say I'm still using Linux operating system, but because we are online, Linux have little or no intervention with respect to what we are doing because we are online. But what I was trying to say is that htdoc is where uh, WordPress document or WordPress config file are being installed normally. Let it be in the local host or uh, on the live server. For those that are starting, like if it is the first video they are watching, when they say local host, it simply means that you are hosting your website on their local server. That means that on your machine, that means that you are not connected on the internet. I, I am connected on the internet. I'm like, there is it, like I'm connected on the internet. I see. Okay. So if I off my data, we will not be able to have access. But if it was in the local host, we, sh we shall still be able to have access. Okay, let me just copy it once, like one, two, four, because this is not really part of what we are to do. I, like we are still deleting the content of of the. Like we are deleting the website attached to the domain name. I see. Having done that, when I will reload this, normally nothing like they will there will normally be something in it again okay uh, i think if i go back okay it just it just these two okay i come now off of cameroon i hello directly listing like there's nothing actually there's nothing i mean that we still have a link so if you guys click this link now but unfortunately i'm not building a life like i'm not doing a video in life so if you guys click this link now you will not be able to like to have the website that was previously attached thank you so uh, where are we like three interface are open this interface is open because i press the file manager are you seeing file manager.ai i simply close this i come like i maintain this then i go down i go down i go down i go down i'm looking for software this soft calculus you guys have seen a file number soft calculus so when you press soft calculus automatically that file is being created in the htdoc document as you guys previous have previously seen i simply press soft calculus having pressed the soft calculus i will press i will choose my content management system that is wordpress 
and having done that i'm going to or we are going to install uh, like i'm speaking as if i'm doing the loan we are going to install our wordpress project in it like this our uh, numerous content management system but because this course is based principally on wordpress we are going to simply install wordpress so if you if you have knowledge in joomla and any other content management system you can go on and install that okay so this is our uh, domain name that cannot be changed unfortunately so because these have been chosen by us before reaching this step the directory i'm simply going to leave it empty so what uh, what i'm like before like before i take this let us uh, take take something important like uh, let us preview a term mm -hmm. just preview a term let me just press show or term show or term like i was like what i was going to say that i have no particularity with any term what we are going to do here in this course is simply to show you guys how to modify a term uh, that you have installed let me just take this one for example not like not take i want to preview to preview how it is how it look like mm -hmm. services <clears throat> no, this site is, is not is not is that just like uh, just there like it's not really uh, like even though like when I was playing how to modify just one like the home page you understand how to modify the other is simply look like that so, it's, it's cool it's cool it's cool like because we are just beginners or because we are using a free template we cannot really have all the experience as a as a paid template i like i hope you're guessing what i'm saying okay mm, what are we going to do okay uh, what is what why have i pressed ah, okay we just close this but i'm not like i'm not still happy about this term let me just go back Okay, uh, I unfortunately I went back so much. Okay, let me just preview. Uh, let me just take first. Mm, let me see this term. Let me press demo. Ah, okay, this this is similar to what what you guys have previously seen. I think uh i think i i think i prefer this one i think i prefer this one uh, why why am i preferring this one because there's some small factor that we're going to cover how to modify this is cool other sites still have it but the fact that in fact the design the countability like as you are seeing like here was being counted uh like i'm i'm sure that when we are going to do or what we are going to modify this together you guys will understand how to modify any other term let it be free term or pay term so please permit me to take this okay so i will just press select term uh, we try our best to use image that are free for legal perspective however we do not take any responsibility for this for the same do you want to use the demo image in this in this term i've just pressed yes i wish to use it okay i've already it because it is a helper the name of it is helper like i said this this is optional if not requested the default term will be installed term are provided by the popular fx and build page layer editor this term will be installed with your wordpress installation if you if, if you're not okay with that just just press clear installation so having take that i want like to do some some modification i'm simply going to call it uh, let me just take a name let me just take name because i'm in cameroon i'm simply going to call it off of orphan of cameroon for example i am named ronald 
my side description is that uh, often need help often need help the password let me I'm just I'm just going to hide the password so enter your own password please uh, just enter my own password uh, which one which one which one okay Yes, my email address, my plugins. I'll just leave it at it is. Okay, having done that, uh, thing is okay. Let me just press. Uh, you can edit details. I'll just press install. Let us wait and see. This installing. This installing. So guys, if you like what we are seeing, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe in order not to miss any of our video. This channel will principally help you to become a WordPress developer. Not just a beginner, but a WordPress developer. You can work on Hey Life project on any type of project. So don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. Thank you. The propagation of database, I think if we come back, uh, let me just close this. Uh, let me just close this. In fact, at the end, like, okay, because I was, I was looking for this link. At the end, normally the link needs to be created. Yeah, it is, guys. It is finished. So we have reinstalled the term that was installed. Why? Because at first, when, at first I did it, actually, but uh it was not i never did it in a video i see so the reason why i decided to do it with you guys don't worry if there's not an image don't worry we are simply going to to work uh to upload our own image i see it's even good like when there's not even a, a video an, an image it is totally good i like it actually so what's next let us continue i'm simply going to close this terminal for now close it no, i'm like i'll just leave it okay so we are going to do two modifications here we are going to modify the home page for you guys to understand how to modify the home page having done like not the home page i was saying we're going to modify the menu the menu like this header menu because there are many menu there's the header menu there's the, the footer menu this uh, a website can also have a menu like in the middle i i don't know how they call it maybe in the database or in the source code they are calling it the the middle menu i see so we are going to modify the header menu for this part having done that we are going to modify the footer menu and after that we are still now going to modify two principal page we are going to modify the home page and the contact us page that is all for the block the about the course if you understood how to modify the main the main menu the home page the contact us page the footer page you can go on modify any other okay let's go uh i think i've opened the dashboard okay yes the dashboard so i want okay this is here's the dashboard having pressed the dashboard i will simply normally i'm supposed to have login now okay let me reload let me just reload voila okay because now 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 i'm seeing the website as an admin i see in this orphan of cameroon all of this, all of this so uh i will open a i have two websites where i'm taking image this this one known as on splash one on splash there's another name as pixabay those are the website that i that us developers or most developers take free image there and include in their in their project okay because i'm in cameroon i will i'm like I'm going to make this website to reflect cameroon so i don't know how this how you are because let's say it is an orphanage website i don't know how the how the employer or how your employer let you know about how they wish your website to look like but because it's an orphanage website and because maybe orphanage they don't have money to pay let's say i'm just doing it out of my heart behavior so i really don't know 
uh, how the menu will look like because us developers this this before building a website there's many things to take into consideration this is what they call the design apps aspect this is what they call uh, the text editor aspect and it's also what they call is the website doing what they want intend to do the main objective of an orphanage website you can guess is to let know of the viewers that uh, that there's an orphanage in this location of the country and might be call the website let know of the need of the orphanage and if possible collect phone either passing through the website directly or giving some contact image or like contact us whereby a person can on, can contact uh, the orphanage either call whatsapp or call a form reason why in a website irrespective of which website that we are building is always advisable not just advisable it's, it is imperative it is of high level importance that there's a form because if you are just building a website a company website for that sale or oh, i think let let it have let a contact us page must be there why because let us let's say i am an investor or i have so much money and one of those days because i'm relaxing i'm just going like okay um i want to just give one one thousand us dollars to like to one ong and unfortunately or or by the god or by the grace of god i just fall on the orphanage website and i don't like to put my credential online i like i don't like to test people on whatsapp before in fact i don't have time to test i just want just to let let them know that if they need phone let them pass through my secretary so i just come here i'm not entering my name i just enter the name of my secretary and all of that and press send now if the form of that website is not working ah unfortunately that's how they're going to lose particular donator i see so i hope you're guessing what i'm saying in all of those free websites what you guys have realized or what i have realized is that there's a contact there's a form okay reason why as i was saying also modifying the home page also modifying also modifying the home page also modifying the contact us page also modifying the main menu the footer menu shall be sufficient for this okay let us go on i simply press i'll open create interface i will close this interface i'm coming here i'm going to maintain this interface this interface i'm going to close it this interface i'm going to maintain okay this two this two i'm going to use this two interface for my images okay so uh, let's let's get started the first thing i'm going to modify the like the menu let me press edit button press edit press edit with page layer page layer is simply uh how can i say it it's simply uh how how are they calling it again the term builder i see so page layer is simply the website term builder so you can install a website or a website template and this because there are a lot of term builder out there so just know the procedure how to modify and you having any type of theme builder or any type of plugin i hope well yes i hope that you can go on doing a modification so uh we have the home okay yeah so here it is i have simply pressed uh edit and having pressed edit i was redirected here if you guys have not seen well let me show you back again like if i just need this i press enter uh, like i am here in the dashboard it is i advise you to open a lot of interface like like i'm doing because it might help us so yeah i will press customize i'm going to open the customize to open the customize uh, i have pressed this so here it is for here i press edit i am in the home page i seen why i'm saying on the home page because the home is 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 uh orange or yellow actually i press i press edit page 
Après, edit du page layer, a Canva gear, database hero, pricing database hero. <laughs> like there are there are type of error that. So it's good. In fact, as a developer, error are quite good actually because it is the error that help you to become more stronger. So here it is. I hope. I, I hope I was not fast. I've, here is the customize. I've seen customize. I can I came here on the menu. I came here here on like if I want I can still change this. I can simply call call this often often of Cameroon menu. It depends on you. Often of Cameroon menu. In fact, this mean this name that you are writing have little or no impact on the website because it's not been seen actually it is just this this content here that have impact so i'm going to change here why is it not giving okay changing the changing this name as i did actually have implication because it is also it is also attached or is it's also been called on the wordpress admin i see so if I open the WordPress admin, so well, let me open the, the WordPress admin another interface. I will, I will simply I'll simply close this for now. I press WordPress admin. It is just this part actually. It is this part that have little or no implication because if you want to change the menu name, you need to change it also here. Yeah. If I come here, I come in pages, I go in all pages. When I was changing, I it just went out of my head, sorry. So when you are here, actually, there's a menu that have, there's a menu that have been created. Where is where it is? Uh, where is it from again? Uh, okay. Actually, here, here is the pages. Here is the page like or the page of the free template that we have installed now on the page is uh, I'm not saying what I wanted to show you guys okay menu okay menu I seen so I went in the home place so I'm changing like I changed it up I changed it up but I never changed it here reason why I changed it there on the customize it was not being able to identify it in the back end i see so if i want to change in the front end like in the customize i need also to change here because i hope you're understanding but i can change this 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 other part here the the home and all those stuff well let me reload why is why, why is it not giving uh, let me go back there in the menu Okay, it is back. Okay, so uh, I will simply change it for you guys to understand. So I'll just call it. Let's see. I'm just calling page one because uh, because I don't have an idea with respect to any particular page. Let me just call it page two. Page two. I just come here and I call this one page three. So we are doing the we are editing the menu. Take this understand it very well please because we might not like in in the previous on the next course next video we shall just continue from there this is page uh, five uh, page five this is page four because i don't have a particular inquest or i don't have an idea with respect to a page let's press publish okay so i want to tell you guys something else as a developer, it's always advisable to open a page also or a website actually in in like in many different interfaces. I will also open this website on another interface as the as a common user. If I open here, it's just to see what uh, what other users are seeing, but not modifying actually. I see page one, page two, page three, page four, page five. Now I want to show you guys something else. Let's say I want that uh, page. Let's say page two is related to page one. I just that means that if for page two to be seen, page one 
need to be open. I just go back and go up like this. I seen. I can also say that okay, for page three to be seen, page two need to be open. I simply go back and go like this. I seen. And so on and so forth. So I could just say that for page page four to be seen, page three need to be open. I seen. Now I can also put a, a page up. I just come on here and I put it up. If I also want to push put this page like I just come here and I put it up. If page five related to page four, I simply go and go and I press publish. If I press publish, I come back here and I reload. We are going to see something else, like not something else, but what we simply set actually. So I hope you guys understood. But now we are not understanding like which page is a contact because it was just page, 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 page. Uh, what can we going to do? Like, in fact, the fact that it's page one. Page one was the home page and page I think it was page four was the contact was page. Okay, so let me just see where is page four. It is page four. Okay, this is page four here. Yeah. So uh, let us continue. So we have already modified the the menu page. Let's say we want to create another different page. Still in the customize, we simply press add menu. I haven't pressed add menu. It's a two two different way to like to add a page. You can you can add an existing page like we just did here. If you press block. Let's say if you, if you press block, the page is appearing here. Or you can create a page. Let's say I'm, I'm just deleting this one. I want to create a page. I'll, I'll, I'll just press custom link. And having pressed custom link, I want to add a page. But the page is not found in our page list. Where Where is the page list? Let me just go in the... Here's the page list, guys. I think I've shown you. Here's the page link. So when you install or when you buy a term, when you buy a term, are you saying when you buy a term, there's there's what they call uh, there are page that that come with respect to the term. Like this one web, this one website that that I develop, it is a company website. I, I will not connect in the dashboard, in the admin dashboard, but just understand that this website that you are seeing have 100 pages, and because they have 100 pages, we have or I have not call or i have not used those 100 pages i just use let's say 15 of those pages i see because it is a term that we bought but because also we are simply using a free term it cannot have more than 10 page or if you have so much opportunity it can just have 20 page i see that is it so uh, what i'm showing you guys i've shown you how to add a page that exists like if i press if i close like this I press add menu i can add a page that is present in our free term or in the term that we bought or i can add a page that is not present here what i'm saying page is like a website let me just press something like usa uh, i just press enter for example like this is a this is a website because this http the fact that this http is a website so having pressed that i simply come here and i copy I simply come here and I copy. Are you seeing? Now I want to add something else or something there. Like the custom link or oh, what have I pressed like that? I don't know what I press. But the custom link, I, I will simply call it uh, Orphanage, Orphanage in USA. Orphanage, or let's say I'm just calling our partner. Our partner. I don't even know how they call, how they hire partner. But now I simply add a link and I press add to menu. Here it is down. Normally it's supposed to come. Oh, <laughs> I said did the inverse. Here is here we add the link. No, no, no. It's here that we put, put the link instead. Here they put the link. Here they hide the link test. I said did the opposite. I press add to menu. I see if I press publish. I come now to visit the site as a normal or somebody normally. I hear it is no, it's not there. 
Mm, okay, if I reload, our partner will appear. And if I press our partner, it will open this website that I see. So I think you guys have understood or you have some brief or advanced knowledge of how to modify the menu. I see. Let me see again the site. Like this, this is still our website. Uh, yes, like this, our website have closed itself because uh, when we, when the person press our partner, he was he was being redirected. I see. So some pay website have option that if you are adding a link, you can you can precise that you want the you want the link to open itself on a different tab but because we are using a free free template we cannot have or we don't have that option like on this website for example uh, you know it's, it's, it's not on this website and well, let me close it let me open another website if i just open and if i just open another website like now i'm doing No, 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 it's not that one. Okay, I see this is a link, but when you press it, the it has opened a different tab. It's like if I come back, I see but for what we have implemented now if you press it it's not on a different tab it's on the same tab and why is it like why is it such because pay template have advanced possibilities but free template don't have those advanced possibilities and i see but because we are still beginners we are going to use free template or we are using free template i hope you understand it so it is really that's not much good for user because the user experience is not good because actually the user like he want to see your partner but at the end he but at the end for him to 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 continue reaching he will he will simply need again to press back button most user with like if there's an invest if because you are building an orphanage website most of them will simply go in a in a different orphanage website so i will not stay longer there i will assume that you understood how to modify this okay the next thing is to modify this so i cannot we cannot modify this from here because in the customize tab in the customize tab we can only modify the menu let it be the header or, or the footer menu we can only modify the menu in the customize we cannot modify uh, the content of the website in the customize so this is the edit now yeah i will simply put here i will simply put let's say a fun guys don't forget that i cannot cover all from here because if not the video will, will be really longer so what i'm doing is that you can see if you understand something you post the video you try to understand them more like as 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 more as you can listen let's say i've realized that this 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 orange color is not good i don't like it I simply press there and I come here and I just take a color like red and now uh, let's say I want uh, let's say this color okay let's say now I want it to become let's say I want it to reduce the size because the size is really the size is really big okay uh, I see I press hover I press the topography and I try to go down the font size font size uh, no 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 it's, it's not there maybe it's not there yes it's here it's here now okay because i'm i'm trying to look the font size why why is it that why is it that there's not a number there font family let me just take for example valida okay okay so, so i hope you guys are, are seeing so that's how they do it they do it the reason why I'm reason why I'm telling you that you can learn more. Merde. This thing is not changing. I'm not understanding. And for it to change, I need to pass my mouse there. Ok. 
Okay, well, let me just update. Me reload. Hmm. Let me go on page one. This is page one. Let me see how it looks like. Like, a uh, free template have a lot of disadvantage. <laughs> it is changing when somebody passes mouse there. Nice. Okay. That is what our template is providing to us here. Eh? That is it. Um, the weight. I'm not sure that it is here that we are doing the modification actually. Because normally it's, 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 it's not like I'm trying to change the color. I've changed the color, yes, but uh, they see something lacking. See something lacking, like, uh, okay, let's say I want to put this thing, let's say we want to put it in the center. So I hope you are seeing that WordPress, the goal, is, uh, the main advantage is just for you to, to have the main idea. It is you having the template that you understand the template and you know how it functions. You cannot say that you master all templates of WordPress. No. That is it. But you having the idea, you cannot say that I uh, like I'm I'm dull or or like, like you don't have an idea in WordPress. Um, this thing is not changing actually. No more. Ah okay, okay, I'm understanding now. They are, the, the thing have two options. There was what we were changing was was with respect to the to the normal. Now hover is when you pass your mouth there. Mm, we are changing with respect to the hover. Let me go back on the topography again. I see how now this is size now. I see how now we are understanding more. I see. That is it. Okay, that's good. So this template this is. It's not that bad. Eh? <laughs> that so that's what I'm saying that uh, a WordPress developer is also a designer, so all those stuff. So maybe create like you must have that creativity in you. Uh, like just go through all of these and and do the modification, guys. Like this crankly is, 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 is that boring actually. In fact, the video is already getting longer, so, so I'll just proceed. I'll just proceed. So I hope you got the idea. Okay. Why am I always pressing? Why is this thing open in a new terminal? Uh if I now don't never you forget to always press update if you are okay with what you have done press update okay so i now come here op stand for often i come down here then okay because the text have reduced i can come back and i put often i'm sure that often will be able to appear why is this person not appearing i press this pencil I'll just I'll just type it here. Have fun. Okay, I want it to be on the next line. And this hover, I don't like 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 the hover. I don't like it. I'll just put default. Because I don't like it. Ah, so that means that I cannot more. Like because I wanted to deactivate it, but it is this this only lock. I can no more do it again. So in fact, there's no problem. We have understood. We have understood there. Yeah. Okay. So I want to reduce it because I wish that often to go on one line. Well, I want that often to appear on one line. Let me reduce it again. I want this end? Why is the end not going? Okay, the end is there. 
no no it's okay voila it's good uh, i press update i come back here i take this pencil okay i come back here and i press off cameroon i seen how even if i'm writing on like small case it is just just putting putting it on capital letter mm -hmm. reason why before let's say you want to buy a tag always preview it preview because let it not surprise you okay i want to put a link here i see so i will just come here and i copy and to put the link i've just press often first of all often in cameroon i press enter okay i will just copy this website I copy it. Uh, I'm looking for something different. Okay, I press it here. I press update. I open now as a normal user. I reload. The internet is 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 it a bit disturbing? Wow, often in Cameroon. Often of Cameroon. Like now, what we did is that we simply added a link to this of Cameroon. I see. So maybe somebody is just passing and I want just just pressing. Now it's opening. Understand it because we are just modifying two pages here. We are modifying the home page and we are modifying the contact us page we have already modified the menu we are no more going to modify the menu we are just left with the with the footer i see thank you and now because it's a free term i see when i'm pressing it's not opening a new tab because the free term don't 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 have that possibility of opening a new tab some free term might have it but i just want you guys to understand first of all how to modify terms or template before you going as no i'm a I'm a professional WordPress developer. I see. Just press this pencil. I see there's always a pencil, like we are always checking for a pencil. So and you can modify it either from here or from here. So either in here or here. Okay. So I'm looking for something like I'm just want to take a test. I just come here, I just press this this one. Like I'm looking for a test, just I'm just looking for a test. Open upon yourself. Why this thing not open? No, oh, it's 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 very long. Let me not take a small test. Okay. I simply come here and I decide to paste it here. So if you want to paste it here, make sure to paste not in the make sure to paste not in the tag, like the paragraph tag. So I've paste. But it's very long. Let me see how it looks like. Uh, okay. I'm just leaving. Like you, you can uh, let us see if if here yeah, we can put a link. Okay, here yeah, we cannot put a link. I see. Okay, I'm just leaving here. So now I want to put uh, an image like we we previously opened two two websites where we have image I seen I, I spoke about on splash and I also spoke about Pixabay so let me just come on Pixabay and let me just press uh, off fan on fan like there's no there's no uh, there's no image because I stock I stock have the, the image of I stock uh i've been paid i seen so you can see download it by simply right clicking and pressing download where is the where is the like save as but you will not have the possibility to to download a large image a medium and a small so if you are just downloading you just download it like that it will not be large medium or small so i uh, i will not take there i want to 
choose the size so i'll just put children and well, let me just come back here and i'll just put children for example children uh, let me just put children children uh, children okay i'll just take this one okay let me just take this one i seen free download so at first let's say in fact when you are seeing how are they calling again that thing again uh i don't know i've forgotten the name uh because i stop okay when you are seeing i stop that means that uh you what what you search have not been found so it can only be found on i stock and i stock image have been paid so yeah yeah it is now uh wordpress have helped us this template have helped us because it it told us that image is 1280 1280 times 960 i see so that's the size so let me just come back here 1280 one two eight zero to nine sixty if i take this one it shall be good if i take this one it shall okay i'm just take this one for example this size and i press download uh i press download children okay i come back uh yeah where, where is it from again uh guys i told you that uh we cannot cover everything in this video so at the end at the end you guys can go on and and like do the modification to understand well and all those stuff because we cannot cover everything here i see we can really not cover everything because if you do that that means that the video shall become longer mm -hmm. so you have much of possibilities much of possibility here like like the test the test you can put any time like the montanga you put the montanga to see how it look like and all those stuff so i'm just going to close this this tab here uh our, our objective is to change this image mm -hmm. change this image let us check for it to check for the image uh, okay what we are going to do is that we are going to update and we're going to open it normally like like and we're going to open the website back again this is what i'm telling you that there's no particular way like you cannot say that no i fully master wordpress you are understanding the template that you have in front of you are you seeing so here it is so i'm looking now for the image so i know that if i press edit I press edit with page layer the page layer is uh, is it is the page builder of our website so i'm looking for this image let me check or let us check it together uh, Just check it together, advance. the future image okay yeah it is okay i see so just go cool it like where is it press the update come back as a normal admins or normal user I reload the 
it's really big, yeah. Ah no no no, <laughs> no no no. It's not it's not the image that we are looking for. We are looking for this image, like the image behind this. So let me just delete it. Mm. Where is that image from? No, I was here, or we was here previously. Mm, what we are going to do is that uh, last time I've uh, last time I've seen it. I'm not. I'm like background. Let's say you have a video. Let me just open YouTube. If I open YouTube and I type off one. If I just copy this link. If I close it. If I just paste. We press update. Let us see how it, it is now. I see how we are taking time because we are looking just for this image. This is how WordPress developers are, are working actually. I see. So we we were unable to found we were unable to found the background image. How to put the background image? Where we, where, where we were able to find how to put a video. <laughs> So the height is uh, the height is guys, and then the video even even is not uh, okay. I have an idea. I don't know if you have the same idea as 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 I have. Uh, I was thinking like if why not put in this part here to this image and see how it look like. Ah, okay. And the video is changing itself. No, but it's changing itself in the back in in, in the back end. Video change itself in the back end. So let me just put this one, and I've just put let's say update. But but there's a way. I'm sure that there's a way to change this image. Just that we we were not able to find it. Maybe. If you check it well, you can find it. I see. The reason why I'm advising you when you are seeing a part, you pause it and you and you try to understand as much as you can. So that is it. Okay, this is it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Parallels. Okay, let me just delete it. Let me just delete it. Let me choose this one. So. So we have seen how to put an image, um, a video. And let us take again this one. Wow, it is good. Reload. I've update. I'm not sure. Okay, it is still updating. So now you're understanding how most of the time you can be seeing a website today and after five minutes just see how something have changed because because the developer was was updating it but at that time he have not pressed update that is it it's cool is it is cool it it don't look as cameroon but at least you have an idea so you have pixabay where where you can find images also on splash where you can find image most of the time even my my desktop background image, I, I still take it from here. Like, like you can still decide to take this image. Are you seeing? So it depends on you. Mm, let us continue. The video is here. Really, it's really getting longer, but the advantage is, I hope you are understanding. Mm -hmm. So uh, what next? Let's continue. This this tab. If I simply press this pencil. 
it is open i i seen reason why when you are previewing or like when you're previewing a website as we first of all preview when you are seeing those facebook twitter you know that it is always appearing in this in, in this type of form like this website that i've worked on is like i seen this website that i've worked on yeah it is i seen so if i open it if i want to preview you are still going to see it still appearing as here uh where it is found like i seen so now you can put a facebook link if you just press this yeah, you can put a facebook link if i just come here and I just press uh, facebook account footballer facebook account footballer footballer because i don't have a facebook account footballer facebook account facebook account i not more have my facebook account actually uh let me just take this one i'm not sure if i will be able to have access i see i'm not be able to have access because they will ask me to log in uh i just want a facebook account okay okay web facebook england team it is good it's good i'll just i'll just copy this one i'm just copying it uh let me just come here and just come back here come back here okay yeah yeah i just changed there just change the link i just press space and i press update i come back as a normal admin like not as a no normal admin as a common user when you come back you reload you reload to see mm. then i press facebook i think it's changing where is it you have not login i know i have no login i know i have no login okay Okay, that is it. So, uh, like Twitter, you can simply add a Twitter account. Like, because we are we are building now an Ofanish account, you put a Twitter account of that Ofanish website. Still goes like I say, Instagram. That is it. So, having done that, we come back here, or we are now here. Reason why a web developer is also a designer and all those stuff. I say. So, I will simply guide you now from here. From here now. If you want to change this text you just press this change text button like you can change it from here or change it from here what i can advise you is that make sure to not change totally the website template like let's say i'm not okay with that orange make sure that at least you don't put it black or don't put it white but at least make it to be let's say yellow or purple i think why not maintain even the template that you have because at least like when the developer or what the person that implement the template did is that he have make sure that the colors of page one is, is resembling the color of page two so you will change in the color yeah that means that because there's all those things that count like the graphic design of the website so i don't know the text that i'm going to put here it depends on you are you saying so i think that we can end up here when i'm saying end up here i'm saying end up uh on them on their home page because you can modify this the image i will just i will just show you again how to put the image of this one you just press this pencil you press this pencil uh okay they're asking you a title let me just type something okay it is appearing the link is a link now we are looking for this image when you are seeing this that means that it's an image so i'm looking for that uh having pressed that i press background style uh, background style uh box style not seeing it okay official officially this is not an image officially this is not an image it was it was not an image it was just something hovering hovering means that it was on top of this but uh, unfortunately it never came so what i'm going to do that i'll, I'll I'll just press this one and I delete it. So having deleted it, I press uh, the pencil, press the pencil and I choose the image. I see. I can choose the image from here. I press choose image. Press to no no no. Uh, let me delete this this one. Let me delete this because it have it have multiplied itself. Because I'm ah, okay, okay. I want to take an image, an image not present here. Let me just take it from my desktop. 
Uh, it is in my desktop. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's which image? Like the image that I want to take is in my desktop. Show all five. In fact, I'll just take this girl. I'll just take this little student. Like, here are the image that have already been uploaded or that are attached to the website template that you have installed. This big, yeah? So now, your tax, uh, yeah. now your tax as a, as a, now your tax as a uh, developer is to make sure that the image that you install fit the image predefined by the website so normally i'm not supposed to put this one why because it is so much big i think so if at first if it was one like yeah first of all this their sizes when you're pressing download their sizes let's say the image is small you take it or you take the one that is is compared to that so the image of those little girls were so much big it is now your own tax to go and cut it delete like make it to reduce so you have already understood so i think that we can end up from here like it's it's, it's, it's very easy in fact wordpress wordpress comes from the word word that means that like just like microsoft word it's not difficult it's not difficult at all uh my mother name let me just copy control i just put my mother name i think it's very it's not complicated at all that is it uh, now since uh, since uh, I just put since 2022 read more uh, read more I'm going to delete this read more I'm deleting because it's also important for you guys to know that it's not everything that you are going to use like like you can also delete and when you do a modification press update because at at the end you can do a modification and i just say no this no this modification is is not good let me let me put as as it was because you have not update what was good that means that you will still go back and do it again i see so just as if as as what i did i just come i update like i modify all the website and after at the end i realized that i came here and i deleted here i seen having deleted but because I modify all and I have not deleted this one, if I press Ctrl Z, even the one that I have not updated will still be normal. I hope you are guessing what I'm saying. Okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So I think that you can go on modifying this. Like if I want to modify this, I just press the pencil. I say NG number, I say I want, to, I want it to end at 700. We just press it. I want it to end at 700. I see. And the volunteer. Volunteer. I want like this. There are 25 volunteer. Complete. Like I see. So now this. There's a text here. I see. I simply delete the text. So it's now your task as a designer to put it either in the right or in the center. Or in the left so that is it mm, put also an image here if you just put let's say you take this you put this you put this choose uh, I want to take this guy here and press insert I see that is it so also come here and modify so here here is a block here is a block so just come here and put pen so you do the modification i see so guy wordpress is not difficult just understand as i'm explaining and i'm sure that any type of template you can do save people like like you can be talking like we need money we don't need money like case of emergency and you say okay uh, like you have you have uh, like if a donator say it like the donator will know that he have 10 hours to donate because after the, after those 10 hours the uh, the orphanage shall not be able to to feed those students i see so it's now here that now you can okay 
uh, let me i see so this this hour are reducing but now how is how is it functioning when the user is reloading it is restarting from start that is from fresh i see but now it depends on you now you can put an expiration date let's say expiration date is this if the expiration date is this that means that it is normal uh, working that means that it pass i see now if the expiration date is this i see i hope you understand what i'm saying now it also depends on the timer on the timer that you have set let's say my expiration date is inset the eight i see 12 day 10 hours 7 minutes i see there is it mm -hmm. the time zone now it depends on the server time when i say server time is the server time that you have set like on the dashboard for example if, if i come on the come on the general setting i'm happy for that block because you you are understanding the importance of of this concept of the server time yeah for example uh, we are on the 26th of august and the time is it is uh, 2 p.m 10 minutes past two but the actual timing now here is uh is the is 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 uh is, is three that is, is 10 minutes past three i see so this this hour is one hour late this time is one hour late i see so now it is now left for you to know your time zone and set it from here so you know your time zone and you set it from here i see choose either the city time zone uh, okay why is it this why is it not not changing uh, let me press update for example save change so i see so you are putting a time of your wordpress server where is it uh, this is a universal time now this is the local time local time now means what is the time that i've set so normally now the the, the the time from the server considering it is 8 11 i see so that means that if i set up something like this calendar it will be based on the server time that i've set or that that have been set by default okay mm. yeah now you can also put the pencil and modify i see so it depends on you so i think that we came to the end of the first page that is of the of the page being modified so now we are we are we are we are now we are the level of the footer <laughs> sorry i'm just like saying we are we are we are okay now we are at the level of the footer okay let me update let me update uh, let me uh, refresh it back after the footer, we will simply go and modify the contact us page and we shall end there. The video is really getting longer, but I, I hope you understand it. In fact, if you want to be a WordPress developer, be ready to have such long video because uh, by such video, you are going to understand more. And don't forget that we have even done nothing. If if we were, if I were doing a modification with you, I see that means that it shall even last long. So I'm just explaining and I hope you will be able to do it alone. Like this edit is an error. It's an error. So if you press back edit, you come back here and you delete. So I am now here. As a WordPress developer, there's not a particular pathway for you to modify a template. I'm repeating myself. There's not a particular pathway. Always understand the main idea on how to approach it. And you having the main idea, you now understand the term that you have installed. I want to modify the footer. In this website that you are seeing, that I've installed, it is a... This website I've paid, that is... We have... We have purchased it. I see. So to modify this website, the footer part is found somewhere up. I see. But to modify that, it's not the same thing. Normally I'm not even normally I'm not even supposed to present it, but I want you guys to understand. I see, but I've pressed WordPress admin now. Okay, I simply press uh, the login button. So having pressed the login button, I come back. I press this side. I see, there's a footer here. Yeah, I have the footer. 
I press the footer and now I what I will be doing will be respect to the footer because it's a this template have been bought I think just the footers appearing and now I can modify but not the same thing here guys you know the same thing actually now I need now to understand how this term is, is functioning I seen so now I am looking for the pencil I'm not seeing a pencil here like I press edit anywhere that any other tab this pencil but but unfortunately for this tab like there's no pencil so now we are supposed to look for it ourselves i see so let us look for it i think i previously seen it or at first at first i've seen it i think at first i've uh i've seen it uh, let us just check okay it was in advanced option the advanced option Mm. Return footer. So insert your code. This code will be printed before the closing body. I'm not seeing it. Uh, well, let me go in something. Uh, like this. Like there's a way to go in the source code of the website. Uh, permanent links, privacy, discussion, writing, writing, writing. No, 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 it's not what I'm looking for. Okay, it is temp file editor. Temp file editor. So I'm looking for. You appear to be making that change to the term. Like it's not always advisable to modify directly. So reason why by the message appear. Uh, I'm looking for the footer. Term footer. It's all about the footer here. Yeah. Let me check the page. Is there a page known as footer? Because I'm not, I'm, uh, why is it I'm not able to, to why is it I'm not able to found, like to modify the footer? Do the page in the footer? Uh, guys. Okay, let me just close this one. Let me open it back. The footer. I'm like, I'm, like we are, like we are looking for it actually. Uh, border size, the font size, the background setting, page attribute, uh, uh, footer. I'm not able to see it. Eh? Mm. Okay, well, let me go back in the customize. Go back in the customize. So we are we are looking for the footer. Mm, the footer. The menu. Uh, well, let me come back here a bit. Uh, page layer topography. Okay, head and footer. Head and footer. No, no, no. This is the color. The color. Yes, yes, for the color. You know what I'm looking for. Yes, for the color. So, this is why I'm asking you guys to always uh, try to understand it the most as you can. Uh, the body, the paragraph, H1. H6 the topography the cyber the side identity the background image like if you want a background image for all the website is here they put it uh, I'm looking for page setting uh, page 
okay now here you, now here you you decide the home page like when when the user will press the link which page do you want to be the home page i have changed i've changed the name of the page or we have changed the name of our page is now page one page one page three so if the user now says if the user now press the link like yeah for example I seen page one is the first page just that page four was in our customize i have uploaded page four it was down and i put it up i hope you still remember i seen it, it is simply because page one have been asked or have been precise with the first page two method the first thing is that we will first of all identify page one from the back end yeah so here we are i delete the footer and i press enter So I'm looking for page one. Let me reload again. Uh, okay. Have you pressed it down? Um, scheduled from. I think so. This home have been. So this home is the page that have been scheduled or predefined to be the home page. If I if you press preview to be sure, you guys are going to see that this page appearing i seen so now being sure that this page let's say i just let's say i want course to be no uh, let me just press cancel like we are going to talk about that but not now if i press let's say view i think let's say i want course to be the home page i seen so course and let me view again course is which page again Cost is page four. Okay, cost is page four. So uh, now the name of course. Now before we go there, there's, there's there are two things. When you are, I think I see. I think I, I I need again to explain by showing this. Uh, no, it's not good because it's a company website actually. So when you are, when you have purchased a term, the term that you have purchased half half. 100 page or thousand of page now you you might not be the only admin working there because assuming that you are just um, among those 1000 page you have decided to use 50 page that means that you cannot edit the text the english or the french part or the language of your country text of those 50 page you simply make the the website to reflect the company website and now like you no know, like here for example when i will modify the like the problem is that i don't know what to type here i just leave it like that so normally at the end i'm supposed to contact the admin of this orphanage and the admin need to give me text for i to put here i hope you understand it so now the best way is not I, assuming that he's contacting you let's say he's in us and you're in cameroon and the time time zone is is not the same time zone and he's trying to contact you and you're sleeping so just simply give him the admin or the credential how are you going to give that you will not like like you not give give him your credential you will simply add him as admin you come to user you come to add new user having pressed add new user you now add him like you put his name let's say his name is boris uh his name is boris like the, the most important here is now is his email like you put his email you put his first name having done that when you press add new he will receive credential or access height to the config part of this dashboard like that is when you are going to add him he will be able now to have access not as the main admin because you remain the main admin but he will still be an admin or a super admin but him can delete you so never add somebody just like that because he can he can delete you if he's one because if he's if he simply come here he can see the other admin and delete you so I hope you are getting so don't give the admin hat to your friend or to your family or to your son because he can just be an admin boss and just delete you that is it and it's very important if you are working on a on a uh, main project okay uh what's next so we were looking how to modify this okay uh being there we were on the yeah so i was trying to explain the page all page so 
I wanted to show you how to put the page or how to make a page to be a main page. Let's say because like what like let's say now you have five admin and you have 50 pages and you have been assigned to make the website. Now they don't know that block, like maybe they don't even know that you are purchased, or even if they know that you're purchased, they want to like here yeah, for example the page of this one is page four the one like this page one is visible here like the one page want to be visible here like let them know go and press uh, view 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 before putting it now you simply come here and you press view now when you're going to view is which page is it's, it's not appearing okay this page is one of our page but it's not being called on the menu I said it is one of our page but it is not being called on the menu now there now you can simply call it or maintain the name block i see now this page i think that this page is is called on the menu is is his name as page four now being page four i simply press quick edit and i, I, I now i call it page four control a i simply call it page four okay having pressed page four I press update I come back here and I reload here we have no change but here we have a change here we have a change because now the other admin will, will know that the page 4 that they are seeing here here is how like this page 4 so if, if now they want to edit it they will simply come here in the dashboard and press edit with page layer so what they will do they will like they might not even know how to edit the menu the footer change images no they just want to edit the english or the french or the language of the website so when they will come back here they will simply come just here and look for text come here put pencil and just go and put text like my father is sleeping like help us now like saying help us now and i think now at the end they will like because for them if they are if they have never done that before before they or for them to be able to do that you need to train them for 30 minutes i see now having done that they now will be able to assist you because if you want to change everything from scratch guys you might even take more time to supply them your, your website oh yes their website actually mm -hmm. Uh, what did I want again to show like we were looking for footer guys the video is is going longer so I will not what I advise you or what I uh, give you advice is that it's not is 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 there actually is there so and everything might not be covered so uh, just go on and, and check for it so so just go on and check for the footer because if I want to check for it we will found it but it might take really long time again mm. Are you saying so just go on and found for the footer it's it's like part of your assignment i see so just go on and found for the footer but this is one of the disadvantage that actually it's advantage and disadvantage because actually normally if you are working on a real project i don't advise you to use free template because you can have this small problem like you are looking for something that normally you are supposed to found it but you are not found it because maybe it is it is been hidden it is somewhere that you cannot easily detect i see like at first at first we were trying to change this image but if it was a pay website normally you have seen it normally easily like if i want to change this website first of all change the image of it is is very easy because it's a pay website i right, sorry okay so i think that we we can proceed to the end page the end page is is, is page four this page four okay this is page four okay guys equally we have a disadvantage and and the disadvantage that we have is that the page that or the term builder that, that we are using is a free it's a free term builder and being a free term builder you don't have some possibility like others what i'm saying like others is that i have i have been working on many websites of wordpress using pay wordpress term and i using the, those pay wordpress term uh, because 
the form or the particularity or the main function of a form i will not modify the image because i've shown you how i've shown you by how to do that so if you want to delete something like th there's it i see so the main thing here is just the form hey where's the form you have disappeared i've not updated i have deleted something but i've not updated so i'm i'm looking for the form and the form is okay maybe the contact us page is in is on page five there's it okay I'll, I'll, I'll just press edit so guys we have again five more minutes so please if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the like button in order not to miss any of the content unfortunately for us not to have a long video we're going to end in five minute time what i was saying is that i i haven't worked on many wordpress website uh when or in those website those the term that that i have been using are 10 that i bought that is term that have been bought on marketplace and now because of that uh, it have advantage let's say for example this this is a form i press this pencil something's appearing here i see the first name i can decide and i put uh don't know let's say don't know because i am also a francophone actually in fact i do i do speak french I just put don't know for example i see so all of this i can modify so now the 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 the, the, the main thing here is that we want that when a user will press send button, let this send button, let it go, let it go to uh, to the admin email address or to the company email address. But unfortunately, we don't have that possibility here. We don't have that possibility to to make it to go to the admin email address. And in four minutes, I'm going to show you in pay terms. Okay. Let me just open now. Uh, like I want to just show you in it in five minutes. I seen. Uh, let me just go back here. Yeah. like okay i want to modify like i want to show you how to modify it why okay well, let me reduce this thing okay this is the pencil i press the pencil i seen so assuming that all of the form is okay that like i'm okay with the form here this a here is what they call button button is like you change the button well, let me change like well, let me open this website on a normal like as a normal user just open it here i'll open it where uh, okay i'll just open it here so like for this website this term was having something like this i simply changed the image and i added and i changed the video present there. in fact there was not even a video I, I simply changed the image and in the source code i simply added the video i've shown you guys how to add a video just go and either you upload the video as you have seen as i've uploaded uh, images you upload the video or you just put the link to the video let it be on youtube or any place so this is a video actually I seen. I seen. So, what I'm, what I'm going to do, I like. I want to open the website on a, on the uh, user interface part. We have really last or stay on this video, but I hope you guys uh, understand the content. So what I was saying is that it is this part. I'm very and void at the amount here it is mm, not i'm not saying it again uh, okay i seen here 
okay that is it so there is also an email like like what i was saying there's an email address i seen so you have the possibility it is in only on paid term that you can precise that uh, when it when the information is being filled the user can press submit and let it go are you seeing so unfortunately we cannot do it yes but at least you're understanding that there's something that is done on the back end for a form to be sent it's icing so there's what they call like even here with this the redirect url so if if you activate it so if you activate it i'm seeing that this feature is part of popular pro you will need to purchase i think it is part of the pro pro form so it can still send but it is it is for a pro like we are using a free template and if you want this now to be sending message we need to activate the pro i think uh -huh, there is it but i totally disadvise you or not encourage you to use a free term and and uh, and and on the long way decide to 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 buy future of those free term because let's say you're buying those future of those free term for five years dollars why not go and buy a paid term that have thousands of page okay i hope you get the point Thank you guys we came to the end of the video the video have really been long but i hope you understood everything from scratch we are going to have much more video of such whereby we are going to build it together but because of the essence of the video we cannot do really everything together let's say for example when we shall be building an e-commerce website i will just integrate system of payment and, and check if it is working but with respect to the image or images i will not i'll just take let's say 10 or 20 and the others i will leave you guys to do it because wordpress is very very easy so if you understand the principle you can go on doing the others i am member who now i'm a software engineer i'm here to help if you like what we have seen don't forget to press the like button and subscribe in order not, not to meet any of those videos or of of our next video i'm really sorry for half stay with respect to those videos it, it, it is it was because of my computer i have a problem with my computer for the past three weeks but now you shall have content every week don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question if you have any worry please type it type your question and you shall be attentive have a good day bye bye